We're still live in, in in Columbus, Ohio, but here we go. Our fifth match, we got Charlotte Flair as she is taking on Liv Morgan. And for Charlotte Flair, last time we saw her, she she was in a last chance for the for the fatal four way for the for the last spot for the women's money in the bank ladder match but also but also for Charlotte Flair she will be, she will be indeed will be will be will be part of this match for tonight against Liv Morgan but anyways but anyways for Charlotte Flair she is ready to 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 redeem herself from that fatal four way against Liv Morgan. And also speaking of Liv Morgan, her last match, she got a victory over Lacey Evans. And also for Liv Morgan, she said to herself, she is ready to, she is ready to uh, improve herself more here, here in this T here in this TPW women's division all right here we go Liv Morgan wait a minute that's Tony Storm what is she doing to Liv Morgan and why what does she have against Liv Morgan I'm not even quite sure if Liv Morgan is is, is even ready for this match she, she she says she is but here we go I have no idea what, what was I even all about but Liv Morgan just got attacked by, by, by our Mrs. Money in the Bank. Tony Storm. What was even the reason behind it? I'm not quite sure if 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 Liv Morgan is even 100%. This this has to be unfair for Liv Morgan here. But not, but Charlotte Flair, she is absolutely taking upper advantage of this situation here. She truly is. But wait a minute, Liv Morgan trying to fight her off. Gives her that forearm. Flips her over. It goes for a drop kick, but no, Charlotte Flair moving out of the way and gives her that back elbow. And now Liv Morgan with a face buster. Just slamming her face down to the canvas. Yeah, Liv Morgan, she has to be upset about that, but but I still do not understand what was even the reason behind be behind behind that attack. But no Charlotte Flair! Charlotte Flair. I mean, Char I mean, the only thing Charlotte Flair has to do now is just just locking that figure four if she really wants to. But, but at the moment, Charlotte she she just wants to play with Liv Morgan. I mean, look at Liv Morgan getting, getting right back up to her feet. And hey, wait a minute, what is this? Hey, a submission. Liv Morgan is absolutely pulling out all the stops here on TPW. But knowing Liv Morgan, she will not quit. One event, she won't. And Charlotte Flair. I mean, Charlotte Flair is just dominating Liv Morgan at this point, but... But so you just, but so you just gotta wonder how can Liv Morgan can even fight back from that. And now Charlotte Flair with Liv Morgan and a backpack stunner. And us that looked it brutal if you ask me. And a spear. Now Charlotte Flair. She might end this. And only a one. 
You gotta be kidding me. Liv Morgan kicking out at one. That's something you never see. Usually, usually someone will, will actually will kick out at two out of Charlotte Spear. But no. Liv Morgan has absolutely proved is actually proving that statement saying saying that saying that that spear is kind of weak to her and a suplex I mean Charlotte Flair she can, can literally can take her time here against Liv Morgan but Liv Morgan will not live up to the height she will not go down but Charlotte Flair keeps on fighting fighting back And just sending her right into that ring post. I mean, honestly, this is kind of unfair for Liv. And now, and now Charlotte Flair may be thinking about the end here. This may be it for Liv Morgan. Natural soul action. That gotta be it. That gotta be it. No! Somehow she kicks out. How on earth is Liv Morgan still in this match? Just, just like Liv Morgan said, she will, she she is looking to she is looking to improve herself in, in this women's division. But the question is, how much more can she can even take from this? Liv Morgan. I mean, I will give it to her. She, 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 she is being a tough competitor at this point. Who, who not still not back down from a fight? I, I mean, I mean, just look at her. Trying to fight back, and Charlotte Flair getting right back onto her feet, but, but Liv Morgan sits her down with a DDT, and look at Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan's haunting. Liv Morgan might, might maybe, maybe, maybe getting a little ahead of herself. And now Liv Morgan going to the top rope. Telling her to get up. What, what does Liv Morgan got in mind? In a cross body. Cross body by Morgan. Now Liv. Still, she still stay busy fighting. She ain't giving up. She may be out of breath, but goes for the cover. At least this is enough. No, not even close. Now Liv. And I guess for Liv Morgan now, the odds are, are actually against her here for tonight. I mean, I can't even believe this for one second. I mean, what's even is even the assault uh, behind that attack d during during her during her entrance? I mean, I mean, whatever Tony Story even got in mind, but but I I absolutely, absolutely believe that she is turning against her fans tonight because because at this point she does not care at all. Tony Storm is watching on. And now, Liv Morgan with a DDT. Liv Morgan trying to hang in there with Charlotte Flair, but she is absolutely taking it to Charlotte Flair at the moment. Trying her absolute best here in this match. She'll do whatever it takes to win here. But wait a minute, Liv with a Hurricanrana. Hurricanrana. To Charlotte Flair and, and now Liv Morgan, but no, and Charlotte Flair delivering that elbow, and Charlotte Flair will not go easy to Liv Morgan now, and now Charlotte Flair, she got her in for that submission. Will Liv Morgan tap out? Will Liv Morgan tap? To Charlotte Flair. But, but wait a minute, look at this. Liv Morgan. 
Live with Charlotte Flair. Can she absolutely do it here? Can it be possible? I mean, I mean, if Liv Morgan can do this, that'll be a miracle. But goes for the cover. Referee. No. No, just kicking out. Charlotte Flair. Wait a minute, Liv. And once again with the same move, showing a little disrespect to the Queen. And now Liv, but no Charlotte. And Liv Morgan ducking. Liv Morgan wants nothing to do with Charlotte. Liv Morgan. I mean, I mean, to be honest, what else can she do in this match? And once again, showing a little disrespect to the Queen. Showing no respect at all. And gives her that chop right back to her. Now Liv Morgan. Picking up, picking up that offense against Charlotte. But no, Charlotte gives her that chop. And Liv more with that punch. But no, but no, Charlotte missing. And a flapjack. And now Charlotte Flair. Possibly single internet, but no. And now, wait a minute, Liv Morgan. She got her. She absolutely got her. And now, and, and, and now this may be it. And now Liv Morgan going for the cover. Referee. It, oh, you got to be kidding me. Tony Storm just helped out Charlotte Flair. What kind of alliance is this? And now Liv Morgan potentially may maybe getting screwed in this match, but but it looks it looks like Liv Morgan had this match won fair and square. But no, but no, Charlotte Flair had some help with Tony Storm. It, whoa, Liv Morgan, that kind of cough. <laughs> That kind of, that that got me got me to stop talking right there, but but back to what I was saying, Liv Morgan pretty much had this match won. I'm not quite sure if if you want to call this an alliance or what, but it seems like Charlotte Flair and, and Tony Storm are working together, but but Liv Morgan, she is still a fighter. She is still fighting back from this. She will not back down one bit. And now Liv. And now Liv Morgan. Wait a minute, flipping her over and just slamming her face. Charlotte Flair may be still be in trouble from this. But no, Charlotte. Oh no, she, she got Liv Morgan. She, she got her in a natural selection. That might be a breather for Charlotte Flair. And now Charlotte is she is gonna do she's gonna finish off the remains of Liv Morgan, but Liv Morgan come back inside the ring only to be only to be ne to be neck break by Charlotte. And now now Charlotte Flair gives her that big boot. And now Charlotte Flair, I mean, just look at her. She even knows that she even knows that this might be all over. This can be all over for Liv Morgan here. Charlotte Flair. And here we go. It's locked in. It is locked in. Will Liv Morgan tap out? I mean, I mean, she was right as well, and she's about to tap out. God dang it! Did she lose? Did she lose horribly? But Charlotte Flair is your winner. I cannot believe this with my own eyes, but Charlotte Flair getting the win with Tony Storm's help. I can't. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's this?
Oh no. Tony Storm just handed Troy Flair a steel chair. This cannot be good. And referee getting out of the ring. He wants none of it. But this is just absolutely sickening. This is just absolutely sickening to watch. And I can't even believe it. And wait a minute. What's, what is Tony Storm trying to say? Oh, no. And, and also, as I figured, this is an alliance between Charlotte Flair and Tony Storm. I cannot believe that. One bit. And here we go. After still recovering from that incident between Charlotte Flair and Tony Storm. But anyway, so here we go. We got Austin Dynamite taking on Daniel Bryan. And it looks like Austin Dynamite, he got himself a new look. But anyways, but anyways that is not the, the case. Because Austin Dynamite is taking on. Daniel Bryan. Alongside with John Cena at ringside, his tag team partner. But anyways, Austin Dynamite, he is now a bounty hunter. The bounty hunter himself, Austin Dynamite, is here on TPW. But anyways, ladies folks, as, as we are heading on into this match, be sure to leave a like on the video if you guys are enjoying this so far. But anyways, for Austin Diamond and John Cena, they have been a good tag team together. Even at Money in the Bank, for that pay-per-view, John Cena and Austin Dynamite, they took on the, the Steel City community for a challenge, for an open challenge, which, which actually was a great match between John Cena and Austin Dynamite when they took on Steel City community for that open challenge. But now here comes Daniel Bryan, a man who, a man who made so amazing tap out. He got a submission Daniel victory last Bryan. time. But we'll, still, we'll, still, we'll see what Dan Bryan can, can do in this match. Can he make Austin Dynamite tap out? We will see. Now, now for Dan Bryan, as he's making his way towards the ring, y'all be wondering what is, what is on his mind. But anyways, folks. Let's get right right on into the action. Here we go. Daniel Bryan and Austin Dynamite going at a one on one and John Cena at ringside. But anyways. Daniel Bryan with Austin Dynamite, but wait a minute, Austin Dynamite. And, and he just tosses Dan Bryan off of him. And now Austin Dynamite, or should I say Daniel Bryan with Austin. I mean, Dan Bryan may be, may be in control of this situation here in a, in a hatch suplex by Daniel Bryan. But wait a minute, Austin Dynamite came right back up to his feet. And now, and now a headlock right towards you, Austin. And now Austin Dynamite. And a hip toss. And also, and also by the looks of it, I think Daniel Bryan might have met his match. His perfect match for, for, for this one. But no, Daniel Bryan catching that foot. And now, but wait a minute, no, Austin. And he gets him with that Kamehameha. Austin Dynamite going for a cover. Referee, but no. 
referee tried to get in position quickly, but no. But no, I, I think I might, might have been too late in the match. And now Dan Bryan going for a quick cover, but only gets a one out of Austin. Austin, dynamite. Daniel Bryan with Austin in that corner. And also for Austin, he ha he has some new moves, which I which I which I for say he which I for say he he does say he does has. But but anyways, we will be seeing them. We'll be seeing that tonight. But now Austin get 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 a little brutal here. Kick to the face, and now, and now Austin just working on that arm. And oh my gosh! And John Cena cheering him on, because because actually Austin Diamond and John Cena they have faced each other before, back in TWE. But now Austin Dynamite just taking a fight towards the Dan Bryan. Austin with a gunslinger. That's exactly what he calls it. Goes for the cover, but no. Daniel Bryan kicked out. Daniel Bryan kicking out of that one. And now. Now Austin, what is he trying to do here? Perhaps perhaps he's trying to go for a drive-by. By the looks of it, Austin Dynamite ain't even done yet with Daniel Bryan here. Austin. With a drive by, goes for the cover. No, he kicked out. How on earth did, did Daniel Bryan kick out of that? And and now Daniel with a DDT. Oh, here we go. Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan. Going for these yes kicks. The, the, the fans are chanting along. And he finally hits him. But goes for the cover. Austin Dynamite. Is that enough? Two. No, Austin Dynamite kicks out. And Daniel Bryan has me one. I mean, I mean look at him smiling, smiling to the crowd. He he just absolutely just knows it. And now and now DB Daniel Bryan. Now what's this? Perhaps Daniel Bryan's thinking about it here. Daniel Bryan, he's thinking about it. And a suicide dive. Poor camera position, but luckily we have a re replay. And one more time. It, unfortunately, I'm afraid. I'm afraid that I'm afraid our cameraman might might might, might be fired from for, from to, might be fired from from tonight. And now Austin. But yes, but yes, our cameraman might might get fired. After this night, trying to go for a Kami Kami Ha again for the third time, but no, Daniel Bryan. And Austin is going to roll to the apron. Meanwhile, Daniel Bryan. And uh, Snapmare back inside the ring, and now Daniel Bryan. But no, Austin. And now, Austin. Wait a minute, what's this? And what a move! Dynamite! Ch trying to go for it, but no, Dan Bryan caught him. Dan Bryan caught him. Dan Bryan just absolutely knew that that would happen. And now look at this! Stomping on the chest of Austin Dynamite. And now Austin moves out of the way, and he got him! That was quick. And now Austin Dynamite trying to make his comeback here. 
I cannot believe that one bit, but now Austin. Well, and now and now he ain't even playing around at this point. He wants to get the job done. Goes for the cover. Referee. Two. No, he kicked out. Daniel Bryan kicking out. And now Daniel. What's he gonna do? And just stomping on his chest one more time. And now just going for a cover. Immediately, two, and no, oh, he kicks out once again. And now Day O'Brien with a drop kick to the face. Austin may be in trouble. And now we just see him right in front of his face. How how unpredictable by by Daniel Bryan. That was just right up to his face. Goes for the cover on Austin, and only a one out of out of Austin Dynamite. And uh, DDT. And now Daniel Bryan he may he may be in control of this match, and he goes the knee. TNT. Goes for the cover. That might be it. And no, he kicked out. Just when you thought that would have been it. Normally that knee takes out everyone. But wait a minute. Austin Dynamite, he, 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 did, he did say this. He had one specific move. And he calls this the Hunter's Blade. Is that enough? Referee. And Austin Dynamite gets the victory. Austin Dynamite getting the victory here against Daniel Bryan. I mean, what a win for Austin, but also, also we got to see his new move, which was the Gunslinger and, and the Hunter and the Hunter's Blade. I mean, it only took one Hunter's Blade to finish off Daniel Bryan, but... But Austin Dynamite gets the victory here, and he's just gonna hop on his bike and just and just drive away. And meanwhile, Cena is just looking on. But Austin Dynamite... He, he definitely gets the W for this one. We got Roger Strong making his return back. After, after the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, if you guys saw, you should know what happened. But, 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 but for this match, Roger Strong said this. He wants to take on Randy Orton by himself. He wants no help. He wants to... He actually thinks he can beat Randy Orton by himself without any help from the Undisputed Era. And speaking, speaking of the Undisputed Era, Matt and Miller got, got the victory over our truth from, from earlier on part one. But but now but now for Roger Strong, can can he can he complete the book for for the Undisputed Era? Can he do it? That is the question. Can he pick off the victory here against Randy Orton? Because Roger Strong, he is determined that 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 he will be that he will be Randy Orton here tonight on TPW. And now, here comes Randy Orton, your TPW World Heavyweight Champion. And also for Randy Orton, during, during, during the TPW Live House Show, he got a victory with, with, with Elizabeth Blade in a mixed match tag team action for the main event of that Live House Show. Against Drew McIntyre and Becky Lynch, but now, but now for Randy Orton, 
He's making his way towards to the ring. And also for Randy, he has been the champion since SummerSlam. But I mean, but I mean, this is this is pretty much a war, a silver, a silver war between the Undisputed Era and an evolution. I mean, how will this match go down? How will it all go down here tonight? But anyway, so let's, let's get going with our match. And now, here we go, Roger Strong taking on Randy Orton. Who is going to win here? And now, now Roger Strong and Randy Orton in that corner. And now referee, and look at Roger Strong taking a cheap shot, of course. Roger Strong does not care. And now, and then now referee backing it up. Or, or should say backing them both of them up, or should say off of each other. Now Roger Strong, but wait a Randy Orton got, got, got him in that headlock. And now Roger Strong pushing him off. He gets him that knee and knocks him clean. And now Roger Strong, what is he trying to do? He's trying to go for a curb stomp. Roderick Strong. What's this? A Tiger Bomb. But no, Randy Orton catching that foot. And look at this back and forth between the two. And now Randy Orton. This was the same corner from 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 the from the Life House show against Drew McIntyre and Becky Lynch, but Randy Orton does not care one bit. He wants to take out the Undisputed Era alongside alongside with his buddies Triple H and Batista. And now Randy Orton with that armbar can can he get him to tap out early? But can you imagine if that would happen? Only, only you can imagine. And now Roger Strong. And what's this? What is Roger Strong thinking about here? Wait a minute, Roger Strong. In a, in a boot. Give, we'll give him that boot. Roger Strong. He, he is full. He is full of energy. For this one, and a gun wrench, power bomb, or, or should I say a slam or whatever. But Randy Orton, but no, he he gets sent, he gets sent right back into the ring, and and Roger Strong, he is absolutely in control of of this situation against against our World Heavyweight Champion Randy Orton. I mean, question is, can Roger Strong, can he make the Undisputed Era proud here on his return back here on TPW? Now, Roger Strong giving him that, that giving him that chop, but Randy Orton responding with a suplex. And Randy Orton going right after Roger Strong. Randy Orton on the attack. It gives him that drop kick. Three. Now Randy Orton. Randy. With Roger Strong. Just putting him, just putting him up against that barricade. Count of five by the referee. And, and just putting him right on that barricade. But count of seven, and Roger Strong puts Randy Orton right back inside the ring here. And now Randy with another drop kick. A another drop kick.
And now Randy Orton with Roderick Strong. I mean, what is the Viper thinking? I mean, I mean, Randy Orton may, may have a sick mind, but but never count him out. I mean, what is Randy Orton thinking? In the knee to the face. I mean, Randy Orton would, would just do would just do anything. And I know, I know the referee was blocking our view, but it actually, it actually looked like if Randy Orton was actually was stomping on his face. But no. And another drop kick by Roger Strong. And now Roger Strong trying to end it. Roger Strong trying to end this match. Can he do so? And an RKO. You gotta be kidding. And no, it, it was a rope break. A rope break. Roderick Strong saving him saving his own self. And now, and now Roderick Strong. I, I mean, what can he do here just to win this match? And now, giving him that same treatment. I mean, what can Roger Strong can possibly can do here? And what's this? And he got him. That might be it for Randy Orton. That might be it. Referee in possession. Two. No, Randy Orton kicks out. Randy Orton will not go down easily. We'll find a fight. And an elbow. I mean, I mean, that could have been it for Roger Strong. I mean, that simply could have been it for Roger Strong. But my gosh, what was that? A, was that a lifesaver for him? And now Randy Orton mainly in control. And Roger Strong getting right back up to his feet. And now look at this, Roger Strong, Roger Strong, and and he gets and he gets Randy Orton with that. And just kicking right in, in his back. And Roderick Strong is going to taunt over Randy Orton. The disrespect. Now, Roderick Strong with Randy Orton. Randy Orton may be in trouble. And just, go, and just, and just absolutely going through for the arm there. But no, Randy... Oh, gives him that uppercut. And now Randy Orton with an exploder suplex. And look at Randy Orton doing the same thing. Just just taunting right behind, or should I say taunting while, while having your back turn to your opponent. And wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, he got him right in the eye. Wait a minute, that was an elbow to the eye. And Roderick Strong. No way. That was an elbow right to the eye, and the referee didn't even see that. Raynor got busted open by that. Wow. And Roger Strong gets the win here. Here we go, folks. Main event. And here we go. We got Brian Israel. Taking on Braun Strowman. Now this match may get ugly. Because if you guys saw what happened at Money in the Bank, Braun Strowman got screwed over by Brian Israel. Braun Strowman was close to, to actually becoming our United States champion, but it did not work out. Because Brian Israel came out just, just to just to distract Braun Strowman. But anyways, this match may sell it at all. Once and for all. But Brian Israel looking looking like a psychopath here for tonight. Cause then because then for tonight, for our main event. We're going to have ourselves a psychopath, a crazy, severely psychopath, taking on a monster.
But Brian Israel making his way towards the ring. I mean, I mean, even from, even from Brian Israel, he got a victory at at, at the live house show. Yes, he, yes, he did get a victory at, at the TPW Live House Show. But now, but not for Brian Azrael. He is ready for this match. But, but still, most importantly, this match may get ugly. But anyways, but anyways, let's get going with our next competitor, which is Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman. And his opponent weighing in at 385 pounds. Monster Among Men. Strowman. Question is, will 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 Brian answer? Will, will he will he get those hands? That is the main question. But still, the sit for tonight, this, this may be an ugly match between Brian Israel and Braun Strowman. But anyway, so this will be a last man standing. Well, let's get that out of the way. But anyway, folks, let's get going with our action here for tonight for this main event. And here we go, main event of TPW and Braun Strowman pushing down Brian Israel, but we have the monster among men taking on the psychopath, which is Brian Israel. And now Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman is just absolutely. I mean, I mean, first of all, for Braun Strowman, he is he is feeling a little upset that that Braun, that Brian Israel screwed him over at Money in the Bank because then Braun Strowman almost won the United States Championship from Dino Man. But now for Braun Strowman, he is he is. Taking that anger towards to Brian Israel here and wait a minute and a choke slam or a spine buster perhaps from Brian Israel. Great strength, but now Brian Israel with Braun Strowman in that corner. And now Brian Israel. I mean I mean this man he may come up with with a game plan here. And now, uh, so it may be a little sickening, but still. But so, Brian Israel, he got w one creative mind. It may be sick, but Brian Israel hitting Braun Strowman with, with those steel steps. I mean, what on else is Brian Israel isn't even going to do to Braun Strowman here in his last man standing? And now, wait a minute. And a uh, STO, a choke slam STO, or should I say a choke hold S STO. But now, once again, it looks like he's trying to go for a choke slam here, but no. Oh no. Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman was actually was saying about it. And now Braun Strowman with Brian Israel. And. Clashing right on that seal step. Braun Strowman is not giving. He is. He does not care. And right to the gut. And wait a minute. Look at this. And a headbutt. Oh, I believe his head might have, might have hit, might hit. His back of the head might have hit the steel step. But now, Brian Israel, but wait a minute, no, Braun Strowman. Strowman. With, with Israel. And he's going to roll to the outside on the apron. And Braun Strowman. 
is going at after the attack here. I mean, he simply must feel like he got screwed for his United States Championship match against Dino. But now, Braun Strowman with a power bomb right on the barricade. Ryan Israel must be feeling must be feeling the effects from this match. I mean, these guys they do not like each other, plain and simple. But Braun Strowman with a sledgehammer in hand. And I guess he does not want to use that sledgehammer. And now Braun Strowman with a table in hand. Count of seven. But wait a minute. Brian Israel trying to go somewhere, but no, he can't. But he gets right in the knee. And right into the apron. Brian Israel. Once again with a sickening headbutt. I mean, I mean, what else is Brian Israel is going even going to do in this match here against Braun Strowman? I mean, I mean that is the key answer for this match. What is he even playing to do? Count of three by the referee. Right here, Joe getting a bat. And now just whacking him with it. I mean, I mean, how brutal can this can even get? And he hits him right on the head with it. Brian Israel. With a steel chair. I mean, my gosh. I mean, I mean, what can Brian Zero can even do at this point? I mean, what else sickening thoughts has he got for this match? Against Braun Strowman here, and oh no. This may not look too well for Braun Strowman here. Because Monster Among Men may be in trouble. Brian Zero, oh my gosh. Braun Strowman could be out. Braun Strowman could be out of, out of this match. Three, four, Ryan Israel. I can't even believe this. And look at Brian Israel embracing this. One bit. Count of nine. And wait a minute. Brian Israel still, is still not done yet with Braun Strowman. And just slamming his face on the canvas. I mean, how much more can a man can even simply can take? And Braun Strowman is looking dead right at. Is looking dead right at him. And wait a minute. Wait a minute, Brian Israel with a suplex through the table. And. No way! Braun Strowman just got right back up to his feet and knocking down Brian Israel. But it is absolutely no way that he should have got up from that. No absolute way right on the ladder. Braun Strowman is not playing around here. And Braun Strowman is not done yet. He is for sure, he is not done at all. And that could have been right on the bat. Wasn't paying attention. And, and are you kidding me? Brian Israel, Israel got right back up on his feet. How on earth is this man still in this match? You gotta be kidding me for once. And now... Braun Strowman with a power slam right on that ladder. And as I believe, I believe back, I believe Brian Israel head might have connected with that ladder. You gotta be kidding me. This is just absolute carnage. Just chaos. 
I mean, I mean, what gives? Braun Strowman missing, but wait a minute. Now Braun Strowman still ain't done with Brian Israel here. And he hits him with that ladder. Ryan Israel may be in for a fight against the Monster Among Men here. And no, he gets knocked down. And Braun Strowman trying to hit him with that bat. But no, since when I believe Braun Strowman might, definitely might have enough. Knowing Braun Strowman will use his bare hands. But wait a minute, this is something new. This is something new that we are seeing from Braun Strowman. He's going deep down his arsenal that another side we never see from him. And oh my gosh. Brian Israel could be dead. He could be dead. No absolute way a human being can, can even survive from that. No way. Kind of six by the referee. Count of eight. Count of nine. And Braun Strowman is still not done yet with Brian Israel. But Brian Israel trying to escape, but gets him right, in, right on his knee. And a clothesline. And Braun Strowman may be down and out. And look at him getting right back up to his feet here. But wait a minute, Braun Strowman. Braun with the upper hand. And right on the ropes. Braun Strowman with Brian Israel. And just tossing him to the outside. I mean, my oh my. Braun Strowman is just absolutely going carnage here against Brian Israel. But. And that roar from Braun Strowman. But. And Braun Strowman is still not done yet with Brian Israel. How much more. How much more is this even going to take for this match? Wait a minute. But no. Braun Strowman fighting back. Against Brian Israel. And wait a minute, Braun Strowman. No way. And a choke slam. A replay from that, but holy cow is this match is getting off hand. Braun Strowman might have just finished off Brian Israel. I think that might be it for Brian Israel here. Count of six by the ref. And wait, wait, wait a minute. No, wait, no. Braun Strowman still ain't done it. And, and Brian Israel was just playing possum all along. But holy cow. Is this match. Is possibly maybe the brutal or, or whatever you want to call this but my gosh are they going at each other's necks and now Braun Strowman removing everything from the ring kind of six but I'm pretty sure Braun Strowman is not done with Brian Israel hey but no Brian Israel wait wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute mandible claw mandible claw we saw that at the live house show. And I believe and I believe that is his breather for this match. And oh no. He got a sledgehammer in, in play. And and I believe Brian Israel is having enough here for tonight. For this main event. And ooh. Brian Israel. But no. Braun Strowman. I mean, I mean, what is this man even going to do at this point? I mean, we all know Braun Strowman wants to end. Oh, wait a minute. No. What's Braun, what Braun Strowman doing? A super, superplex 
And Braun Strum looking down right at him. And only a two from Brian Israel. Are you kidding me? Only a two. How on earth is this man still competing? And look at him. Time right in front of his face. Saying whatever. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Brian Israel with Braun Strowman. No absolute way. No way. And uh, you gotta be kidding me. I mean, I mean, this is for sure a main event, but these two are are seriously going at each other's necks. And now, Brian Israel. I'm not like quite sure is he. I was gonna say I'm not even quite sure there's even more where that came from. Count of eight. And no! Braun Strowman saw the candlestick coming. And Braun Strowman. But no, Braun Israel. Sends her back inside the ring. I mean, these two men has been facing each other for a quite while now. And Braun Strowman bleeding from the side of his head. Count of free by the referee. Braun Strowman. I mean, what else does this man even got in mind here? But wait, Braun Israel. But no. Braun Strowman. I mean, look at Braun Strowman go. But both of these guys does not want this match to end. They really want to tear each other apart in this match. And now Braun Strowman doing so by punching him in his face. And he got him busted open. Brian Israel's busted open. And Braun Strowman's still not going to stop. This match must be serious. Like, my gosh. Is this getting... I'm not quite sure what even to say about this. Both men are busted open. And Braun Strowman picking up the remains of Brian Israel. But Brian Israel is still trying to fight back here. But no, Braun Strowman just punching him right in his gut. And, and at this point, I think... I'm actually thinking Braun Strowman had enough. Uh, Brian Israel here, but Brian Israel keeps on fighting back. And Braun Strowman... Braun Strowman. And now, and, and now just getting into that corner. And now Braun Strowman, he's, wait a minute, Braun Strowman is, is, is trying, is trying to go for another superplex for the second time. Can he do it? Oh my gosh. Holy. My, I, unbelievable. Braun Strowman is walking away with a W for this one. He is the last man standing. But anyways, folks, if you guys enjoyed part two and for TPW as a whole, be sure to leave a like and tell it and always, I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out.